Hi everyone, it's Sam from SiteMate. In this video, we're going to look at the SiteMate links feature, specifically ongoing submission SiteMate links, which allow anyone to submit forms into your Dash Pivot account multiple times, but without them actually needing a Dash Pivot user login. So instead, they'll actually submit their forms via the SiteMate app into your Dash Pivot account. In doing so, they will become what we call a SiteMate form user. It is a paid user type more on that to come. Uh, but we're going to, in this video, show you how to set up an ongoing submission SiteMate link, how to distribute that, how someone can then gain access and submit that via the SiteMate app back into Dash Pivot. So here we are on the Dash Pivot website and you can see that we're in the template section, in the links tab, and we have the two different types of SiteMate links. We have the ongoing submission SiteMate links uh, option selected. Now. I would encourage you to go back and watch the introduction video about SiteMate links in general. There's a lot of information covered in there. In this video, we're just going to focus on the ongoing submission SiteMate links, uh, of which you can see that a few have already been created. So in effect, when someone clicks on one of these links or scans the QR code poster associated with that link, they're going to gain access to the underlying templates. Uh, so this particular one called Laborer Forms, this link has four templates associated with it which we can see is these ones here, the JSA, site check-in, take five, and excavator pre-start. When someone gains access to uh, this link, they're going to be able to fill out forms for those four templates via the site made up and submit them into Dash Pivot. And in doing so, they will become what we call a form user, which is a paid user type. Uh, so let's run through how we can create a new ongoing submission site mate link just quickly open it up, let's give it a name. I'm going to create one for just a an excavator pre-start. And we're going to select our pre-start here. I'm going to generate the link. It's been successful and it shows us how we can distribute this link. So the first option is to just copy this link, send it out to the relevant people. When they click it, they'll gain access to start submitting that pre-start over and over and over again, whether that's daily or weekly or any other day. Uh, the second option is to download a QR code poster. Uh, this is probably the better option if you don't know exactly who needs to fill out uh, these forms. So you can just stick them on the wall on your site. Someone arrives at the site, they scan the QR code poster, they gain access to fill out those forms on an ongoing basis, um, and away we go. So let's download that poster now. I'll show you what it looks like. It's really neat, looks nice and professional. It'll have your logo up the top. It's got the name of the link. It says ongoing access. So we're gonna be able to fill out that pre-start multiple times. You can see we've also got uh, a QR code uh, on here, which we can scan using our smartphone or using our tablet. It's got some instructions, some information about the app stores, and then the details about where exactly our pre-starts are going to be sent and submitted into, into our Dash Pivot account. So on my phone, I'm going to scan this QR code quickly and open that up and you can see here it's for the excavator pre-start ongoing submission sitemate link it's got some instructions to install the app and copy this link so i'm just going to copy that click install i already have the sitemate app installed so i can just click open open that up go to the forms tab add forms and then paste in that link that we just copied click submit click ok and you can see our pre-start is here. So you can see it's listed under ongoing submissions. So if we click on the excavator pre-start, we can put in the date, we can put in which excavator it's for, we can put in the location, etc. We can fill this whole thing out and click submit. When we do that, it takes us to the activity section in the SiteMate app. You can see that uh, it's been successfully submitted and if we go back to the forms tab, we can click on it if we wanted to submit another one. So because I've got ongoing access to submit as many of those pre-starts as I want into the Dash Pivot account, um, that makes me what we call a SiteMate form user. So just to show you, let's go back into Dash Pivot. And if we go to, oh, I'll just quickly show you. So let's go to templates and go to the excavator pre-start. You can see here, this is the form that we just submitted from the site made up. So it's been submitted okay. And if we go to the users section and go to form users, 
you can see in here that my profile has appeared as a form user. So we can control who has access to these ongoing uh, submission sitemate links. So to those pre-starts or those labor reforms and things like that, uh, we can just remove access like so. And if we go back to the, uh, to the sitemate app, you can see that it's disappeared. So we can no longer submit those pre-starts into Dash Pivot. Great, so that pretty much wraps up this video. If you have any questions or get stuck, feel free to reach out to us via the uh, live chat on the Dash Pivot website. Uh, we do have other videos covering other use cases that uh, ongoing sitemate links can be used for, things like timesheets, obviously the, uh, the pre-starts, take fives, JSAs, all that type of thing. Please feel free to give those a watch if you're interested. There's other videos as well about other functionality that we have in Dash Pivot. So I hope that the ongoing submission sitemate links is a feature that will be useful for you. And thanks for watching.